Dark matter is a mystery that we've had in physics since the 1930s. If you look at the way galaxies move and the way stars move around them, there's got to be a lot of unseen matter holding the galaxies together. Nothing in the periodic table or in the standard model could possibly make up for it. We know what dark matter isn't. We know it is not nuclei or gas in galaxies. We know it's not deviations from gravity. Uh, and we know it's not other particles in the standard model like the neutrino. So it's gotta be something new. And the particle that we're looking for is called an axion. Axions are extremely light particles that were first postulated to solve another problem in the standard model. These axions are extremely light. You can think of them more like radio waves. And they'd be about 10 to the 14 per cubic centimeter. So we're taking data right now. We don't know where the axion's mass is, so we're tuning it, the experiment over frequencies. We could find it tomorrow, uh, or it may take a decade to look for it. But the experiment is continually being upgraded so we can scan faster and faster to hopefully detect it very soon. So the experiment started uh, here at Lawrence Livermore. We have a collaboration between UC California Berkeley, University of Florida, University of Washington. And since then, the collaboration has grown uh, to a number of national laboratories and universities, both domestic and internationally. The equipment we're using is the Axion Dark Matter Experiment. So we have an eight Tesla magnet. It's located at the University of Washington. Uh, it was actually started here in the lab many years ago. We have a microwave cavity, and that resonant cavity stimulates the conversion of these axions to detectable microwaves. Uh, we're looking for tiny amounts of power, like 10 to the minus 24 watts so tens to hundreds of photons every second. So we need to use quantum electronics to be able to boost that into a detectable range. And then at that point, it's basically an AM radio. You're turning the dial, looking for small tones, small excess of power above the background noise. The dark matter experiment really uses cutting edge quantum electronics. These quantum amplifiers that are built at UC Berkeley for us are also used to read out qubits. And those qubits can be used for quantum computing. This is a high energy physics experiment that uses a lot of the same technologies that will be used for quantum computing in the future. Well, finding dark matter has been one of the major problems in physics for almost 100 years now. So this would be a major victory in physics in the standard model. In addition, the axion itself uh, would have a lot of information encoded into its frequency structure. You'd see information as the Earth moves uh, around the sun, as the sun goes through the galaxy. You could see that frequency shifting around. And so the axion dark matter experiment would become basically a dark matter telescope. Um, it's possible this is a new particle that we, is unlike anything we know of, so there could be other potential practical applications uh, in the far future.